The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the Happiness Jungle with Chief Happiness Officer Lindy Eldridge. And I am pretty excited right now because we have a very special guest on our show. Talk about jumping through the hoops. We have Robin Rapture. Robin, you inspire me. This woman right here is going to share with us in the next half hour, and I don't really think that's long enough, Probably not. how we could jump through hoops, but her creativity and her passion and what she thrives for is when that pencil hits that paper and everything comes to life. Hi, Robin. Hi, Lindy. I'm how are you? I'm <laughs> fabulous. This is the best. I'm so excited to be back on television, on your show. Oh, my gosh. Happy well, you know what? Robin walks into the studio, and everybody is greeting Robin. Robin, you're a celebrity here in New Hampshire, and I didn't even know it. So talk about me being blessed. Wow. Thank you. Well, it helps when you write a book, and you're not afraid to get out in the public eye and just kind of be you. So I, I love people, and I love what I do, and I love to share my passion with others. And I think when I do that... People kind of go, oh, yeah, well, I have this passion. And I'm a really, really good listener because I really believe in people, and I really love to hear people's stories because there's too much in the world where people are either too centric on themselves yes. or they're thinking about the next thing. So it's kind of like being in the now space, which brings me to this great, we, we, we just did a picture before the we show. We did. Now is the leading edge. And that, this picture, this is just one, I, I'm, you know, we're going to talk a little bit yeah. more about my illustration. And you know, the now moment is really where it's at. You know, it's it's just, 100% where it's at. The Happiness Jungle speaks about that quite often in living with the now and accepting and deliciousness of the, of the now and really understanding that the now has its purpose. And that's what I want you to talk about because I know... I've um, had the wonderful pleasure of engaging with you in a personal conversation, you know, off camera. And I, you know, we all have some stuff in the, in the closets of our, it's called past. Right. And you rise be above it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and just to, to, for the proof of the matter is I wish we had the cameras rolling so you could have seen what happened when she walked through the doors of the studio. <laughs> well, I, I, again, I love being present for the person who I'm talking to. I think that's the greatest gift that you can give someone mm. is really listening and engaging. And, you know, I know sometimes, you know, you have to run and you have to do things and, and that's totally understandable. But if you could try more, I think it's just the key, really just try more mm. and you'll be more fulfilled than you could even imagine. When I get out in the public, a great example, we just had a uh, and I'm not sure when you're listening to the show, so I won't date it. But right. I recently went to uh, an arts, uh, it was called Positive Street Art. And it was happening downtown. And it's very, like, it's the more colorful, well, that's funny, it's the more colorful version <laughs> of, of art. Um, and I, I mean that in, in the sense that it's, it, the Positive Street Art people are doing the things that, are, I think, a little bit more edgy. You uh -huh. know, we've got, like, graffiti artists, you know, and graffiti art is, is absolutely beautiful. And if it's done wrong, you know, of course, people get aggravated. Oh, it's on the side of my building. But what this group is trying to do is they're trying to encourage the positive aspects of it and actually planning it. You know, here's a space. It's open. You know, contact us so, you know, you can have a chance. Right. That kind of thing. And, and you know, express yourself. Oh, totally. It, it, it's beautiful. They had rap. They had dance. Wow. They had, 
I was there with my hula hoops. I decided that, you Fantastic know, you. I was, it's so much fun. And, and, and I just, it was very impromptu. I didn't make a, a thing. I just kind of just showed up with a friend, and I invited a few more friends. And then we just kind of, you know. You were having fun. I, you have to find Robin on Facebook. Robin Rapture. And you will see her hula hooping. And it's, it's incredible. Let me talk about graffiti for a second. Sure. I am very blessed because I travel a lot. And I'm noticing that, um, that every place that I travel, graffiti, just like you said, is being accepted because it's an expression. And I'm watching these towns, whether they're the tri-cities, whether they're the good part of towns, but they're gravitating more towards the graffiti when it's art form and not cultured for any kind of what I like to say, like West Side Story kind of a thing, gangbusters, you know. That's not graffiti today. Graffiti has completely taken a whole different mindset twist yeah. from when we grew up. Right. And I'm watching these towns become very colorful and expressionative, Beautiful. if that's even a word, expressionative. It is today. Put that in the Happiness Jungle uh, Dictionary. But I'm loving it because I'm in awe to where I want to park and I want to, I want to watch and I want to look. And when you take the chance to stop and enjoy the graffiti that you're describing, the colorful graffiti, yeah. you could feel exactly what the artist was trying to give. It's a, I, Not trying, obviously they were doing. And it's so, so fun too to try to figure out what it says because they write their letters, you know, some of them are really, really... Yeah. Different, and I, I had to go ask the artist. I was like, okay, I can't read that. I'm like, can you please tell me what that says? Right. Uh, so but they want to share. They do. Yeah, they yeah, want to share. Of course they do. They're, you know, that's their that's their artist. Yes. You know, that's and everybody. This is one of the things that I am a true believer. Everyone is an artist. Period. You, we are all creators. And in, my mom, she, you know, she'll be the first one to say, I'm a terrible artist. I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, that's okay. Right. You know, that's not the only type of art. And, you know, like graffiti is the, the one that we're right. kind of focused on right now. But, you know, even, even the, you know, the men that are working in the box right now, you know, they're, that's an art that's form. That's right. You know. Let's go out to them right <laughs> now. I've got to go out to my guys who work behind the scenes here. We've got Dick Cagney, we've got Dan, we have Pete, and we have Paul, and we, oh my goodness, it goes, we have Harlem back there, so thank you guys, because without you, the happiness jungle, a matter of fact, none of the shows here right. in Nashua Access could uh, even be happening, so thank you guys, because yeah, they say that right. a lot of times, you know, a lot of times some of the artists, it's a thankless job, you know, sometimes uh, there are things that we do that we're not getting thanked for. And we appreciate and and, and and so all of those things, yeah. you know, so art really, you know, is, is like so in so many places. And, you know, my expression of art kind of comes out in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And I, I, want, I made a business out of it. So I am, you know. Talk, I want you to talk about that, okay? Sure. And a matter of fact, I want our audience, go get a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all we want you to do because this show is about being active, and you may not be able to draw, right? You, it may be a line. Sure. There she goes. She's doodling. She's always the doodler. I'm telling you, it's like crazy. And, but I want you to do, because I know for a fact that when I have pen and paper, and I'm not a, the artist like you are, but I know that when I think and I doodle, I have a calming effect. Very calming. Very calming. Oh, it's very peaceful. Very peaceful. Yeah, and, and you, coloring and, books. And get out of your element too. You know, like just you go outside and find a space. Not you, yet. Yeah, no, not right Don't now. Don't go outside Wait, yet. After the show. After the show. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> take that pad and paper. Yeah. Go out, and you know, even if even if it's just a bunch of scribbles, yeah. you know, you know, the thing is is about getting connected. Get, connecting to nature is always huge, but yeah. then when you can connect to your inner being as well, you know, nature yeah. will help you get to that place. And that it does bring a calming. It also kind of like when you let go, you take some deep breaths, you know, right. that's really big. Meditation is really hard, okay? Don't let anybody fool you. But I can't do meditation. It's tough. I can't. I, I've, I've tried and tried, and I, I'm still trying. And, yeah, and I, I can't do, do it with my eyes closed. I break through. But, you know, and that's the thing. Mm. It's like you just, you know, even if it's just a minute, two minutes, five minutes, you know, the, the big 
goal is 20 minutes. Right. You know, that, yeah, I know, right? Wow. And, uh, that's but, awesome. If you could do that, yeah, that's amazing. And yoga, there are a lot of great yoga studios, a lot of great instructors, a lot of great information on how to do that. Yeah. I have learned that I cannot meditate with my eyes closed. Okay. I mean, there's nothing, there's no wrong way to do no it. No right or wrong way. Right. So what I do is I just have a focal point, and I find that I can meditate that way. And it's not because I'm looking at anything. I just like go into a zone. Yeah. So maybe that's a solution for you guys it's, who are trying to meditate. So just you, chill it out and it, breathe right through your nose. When you get outside or you, you know, pick up the pen and the paper, yeah. it, find, you know, maybe even ask a question or just start drawing anything. You know, right. you never know. Like answers will come in that you didn't expect. And I think that's, that's big. Like right now for that's me, the, you know, when I'm illustrating, some of my work is inspired. Like this, this, this piece, this, you know, I now is that. the leading edge is, is an inspired piece. I, I listen to a lot of uplifting, positive messages. There's tons of stuff on YouTube. Yes, there is. And so, you know, I'm just hitting play and I'm sitting there. Um, so that's not necessarily outside, but, but, you know. But it could be it, because it's social media and we have our phones phone, and you don't have to be it. inside that's, anymore. That's true. That's so true. a matter of fact, if you're watching us and you want to go outside, just make sure that your phone is on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the inspired work comes from listening to positive messages. And I have actually a few books here uh, that, that I, you know, like simple things, you know, and they're just messages. And, and this is where, you know, like a, a year ago, this one just wow. says, look for something to praise. Um, and, and I started about you know, a few years ago kind of listening and it, it brought me to a whole new place. And that's where the art started to come out again. You know, I did photography and I still do photography. Right. Um, I, I videography for me, I've, I've done video and I've, I'm excited about video, Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm branching out a little bit further now. I want to do 4K video, which is like the next big thing. It's the, the high, high definition stuff. So I just got a camera and, and the things that I do, you know, are to help promote people. Yeah. Um, I'm not really going to do a show per se, but I don't know, maybe we might evolve into that. But I work with clients who need, you know, to put themselves out there, yes. you know, on social media and on their websites. And so, you know, the illustration works in because if you've got uh, a USP, you know, that you're a unique selling proposition, sometimes people don't know what that is. So right. I can help them find that. And sometimes it comes through through illustration. Sometimes it comes through through pictures. It depends if you have a product, if you're the product, uh, you know, all of right. these things, they're all flowing together. And, and the big picture is where are you online and what do you look like online? And I'm a great, great person huh. to look at all the different places where you are online and I help my clients bring it all together so that they can be the shiniest, most well-presented. Right. Like they are the expert. I want to make you, like Lindy, if I was doing Happiness Jungle, mm -hmm. which by the way, Great brand stuff. I love your brand stuff. Thank you. I love your guy, and I'm excited to, we're going to talk. Oh, my gosh, you have to meet Glendon. Have yeah. to meet Glendon. Absolutely. I know he doesn't have the illustration piece necessarily. And the agency, you know, like a lot of people have different things, and we all fit together. Yes. You know, and that's the fun part is finding out where we fit. Let's stop right there. We're talking about teamwork now. Yeah. And whether it's personal, whether it's business, teamwork comes into play. So maybe your art form isn't taking that pen and that paper and doodling. Maybe your art form is a different part of creativity, but there is in all of us, there's creativity within all of us. Yes. So then you could get together with other people and you could start masterminding, just like what you're talking about. And I have seen your work and I have seen what you do for others. And that's why I know for a fact that life comes alive when your pencils Hit that paper. You've already done two graphics for me. And I just, I get so excited because I know that it came from the vision within you, which means that it's 100% authentically real. Yeah. And that is your worth. That is what you bring to people. And it's, I, I have goosebumps because I've seen multiple times. We've been to many events together now. We yes. traveled to New York yeah. together. That was so that was fun. fun. That was so fun. That was so oh much my fun. Gosh. Oh yeah. my gosh. That is the best. New that York was, is so great. That was so great. <laughs> and I, I watch you. I watch you bring things to life and then you share it with whoever it is that you're drawing about and they come to life because you've captured the inner. 
I like to think that that's one of my gifts. You, you know? have that gift. I really feel, you know, and that's a listening skill too. You know, yeah. that, that's like really part of it. Getting back to that is, is when I meet with people or even if they're not my client, like, you know, when I was in New York, I was doing a lot of sketching just because I was there and I, I was, you know, really connecting with our speaker and, you know, like what is it about him that right. makes him him? So I didn't necessarily even have to have a conversation that's with him. Right. It's all about the observation at that point. So listening. I notice where you sit. I watch you. I observe you at all the events. We've been to Boston together. We've been to New York together. We've been in New Hampshire together. We've been, what's and next? it's what's next. You know, there's exactly. going to be more. There's yeah. absolutely yeah. going to be more. And you're right. You're like, you know, when you look around the room, who do you want to resonate with? And who are you attracted to? So start going out to events, start going to meet people, whether it's for personal or for business, and gravitate towards the people that are going to make you shine, but new people. Right. Yeah, new you, people. You have to spread. You have to, you know, like if we go, we, we've gone together, but we go, okay, you know, it's like. As soon as we get to an event. Right. It's, it's like we spread out. We're going to see each other on the ride home. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, you know, we're definitely going to be collaborating. Right. But when we go to an event together, we already know each other. Yes. But there's no reason for us to chill no, out. No, we don't have to. That, like, that's not the point. That's not the point. The point is to go out and expand the network. Yeah. So it very, that's so exciting, you know, to get into a new space and it meet is. new people. And then, you know, sometimes you just bounce off. You go, okay, that one, no, this one, no. But, right. But then all of a sudden it's like, whoosh, and then. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like all of a sudden the, the world lights up. Right. You know, and, and that's for, that's, that's, I live for that. I live for that feeling of, of connecting, finding somebody new right. who is like, oh, 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 I get it. I have to, this is, <laughs> I just had the moment. It just flashed before my eyes. When I was at the, uh, of the street art event, I taught a new person how to hula hoop. Wow. And you think I, hula hoop's easy. <laughs> It's actually, you got to see her. She's all she she's hooping. <laughs> it, it, and I, it's all practice because, of course, people watch and they go, "How do you do that?" And it's well, you, I just hours and hours and hours, right? Right. It would, right. But it's so much fun. It, the hours fly by, and it's great exercise, like we said. You know, like core. Right. And but you uh, got to remember to go both ways. You, well, there's yeah, there's a technique. So I <laughs> I was teaching this girl, you know, and there's really only four ways to hula hoop. Just so you know, it's just four ways. And so I taught her all four ways in about, you know, 35 seconds. And I said, said, you just, now you have to just do it. So when she did it, which was within less than a minute, the look on her face, the way her eyes lit up, I mean, it was... Accomplishment? Oh, it was... The, and she, I have it on... I have a video of it. I actually... I, I didn't get it right away, but I was like, oh, can you just, <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't... And just Aww. because that feeling when somebody gets something that they're really excited about, that they've never done before, and that they, you know, and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's the wow. That's the wow. That's the wow. I love wows. I'm always looking for wows. Yeah, and I'll tell you, I love your eye contact. That's one of the things that I really train the most on communication. And in order to really feel and want to know if you want to be a part of somebody, True. you have to look them in their eyes. And if somebody can't look you in their eyes, you need to think twice about really connecting with that person, okay? True. True. Your eye contact is so powerful. I could see right inside your core, and let me tell you, you're a beautiful, magical, everything. Oh, it's just the yumminess oh. inside of you. Thank you. <laughs> Lindy. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. It's true. And, and I think that, you know, a lot of people out there, when they're not making eye contact, sometimes people are shy. Yes. And sometimes people are shifty. So you have to, you know, the shy people um, who aren't used to making the eye contact, you know, getting out to events, getting experience. How do they do that? How do they start learning how to have eye contact if, they're, if they are shy or if they're intimidated? How can they start being happier? I have a very easy answer. I know you do. <laughs> start with somebody safe. Start with people that you know. And then when you're having conversations with them, practice. You know, you might be like, you know, you might look away, you might look up, you might look down. A lot of people look down. Um, or away, or, or away. Side, yeah, or and they and, wander, and, and it's and and that's all coming again. You know, being in that present moment. You know, right. getting in that now moment. And actually, when you engage your listening skills, mm. and you're really listening, you can't help but be observing yeah. as well. You kind of go into a tranquil state because you're so in tune with what the person is sharing with you. At least that's where I go. Yeah, and it's it's just it's life changing. After you practice with 
safe you people. You have to practice. Then go so on let's out. do that. You ready? Okay. We're going to look into the camera, and our audience is going to look into our eyes, and I want <laughs> you in the audience to say, I am absolutely fabulous, and I deserve for people to look at me when I speak with them. I am absolutely fabulous. And what was the rest? And I deserve, <laughs> wait, and I deserve... And I deserve people looking right into my eyes, just like the other person deserves me looking into their eyes. Yeah. That's a really big one. Yes. You know, it's, it goes both ways. Yeah. And practice it. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. You know, we weren't, we weren't born the age that we are today. It took us quite some time to get here. So don't be so hard on yourself if your changes don't happen overnight. Little baby steps. You're going to be active, and I promise you that not only will your eye contact be better, your communications are going to get better, things will get better as long as you get out of your comfort zone. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and this is the, you know, the, this private work that I've been doing, yeah. you know, that really kind of inspired the illustration to kind of come back. I started when I was five, you know, and that was really huge for me. Uh, it was an amazing, it's been an amazing journey, and I feel like I've kind of come full circle, you know, yes. to, in, on the art wheel, if there is such a thing. I mean, there's probably lots of things that I skipped over. <laughs> but, you know, I, I like, I love to dabble in new things. And uh, I heard about your family. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, so. Robin, you're like, every time I sit with you, I find out more and more about you. Your family is very well known as well and big in Nashua, New Hampshire. Share with us how your family is so instrumental to a town. God bless my family. Because they have been there throughout, you know, of course, my whole life. But as I became an adult, I worked at the family business. And, you know, that business, uh, just in, uh, what was uh, it? Gate City Fence, uh, they're the, the fence company. The, 1947, my grandfather put up his first fence in his yard. And it was because I think my uncle Chicky was the the firstborn, and he was, he was, my, my grandmother's pregnant, he was, she had him, and, you know, now we need a fence, we have a baby, we need a fence, you know, downtown Nashua, you know, I don't want my baby crawling in the street, right? So my grandfather put up um, a fence, and then the neighbor came over, saw the fence, and was like, can you do one of these for my yard? That fence is still up on Elm Street right here in the city. It's amazing. Like, it's amazing. So that, that was like the that beginning. That started a family that business. That started the family business. Go put up a fence. <laughs> so, That's so, crazy. So they're in the, like, kind of like downtown over on Ledge Street, which is in the mill mm -hmm. area, you know, the clock tower and all that yeah. stuff. So Pine Street Extension goes down that way. And behind, uh, on Pine Street Extension and behind on Ledge Street on Gate, where Gate City Fence is, there's a really long mill building. And that was like one of the cotton, I think yeah, there was a, oh, when, the, when the trains came okay. through the train, I, when I was a little girl, the trains would still come by in, behind the building um, and they would drop off wood. And I, I used to love She's getting in the train cars. Old. What? I said, you're not even that old. You don't, I, you don't look like you're more than 20. <laughs> so, I have been blessed. Thank you, family, for that as well. Uh, so my family, though, has been, you know, Really, really helping along the way. And right now, that mill building is going to be the new house for a lot of artists here in the city, which I'm really wow. excited about. Um, they're renovating it, and they're getting it ready right now. So, And your family's behind that. So thank you yeah. and your family for being so instrumental in an area that I know could use the uplifting support that's just resonating. Yeah. The arts so and I want to go back to the first fence. Okay. Because I want people to realize that if you have a solution for any kind of a challenge, mm. that just might be your calling. Oh my so don't God. wait for Shark Tank. We'll be your Shark Tank. <laughs> okay. Go. We'll be your Shark Tank. <laughs> um, but, you know, learning how to invest in yourself is one of the biggest things that you could do. One of the biggest gifts you could do for yourself and for your loved ones. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Listen to, yeah, listen to your heart because, you know, my heart tells me to do all these things. Yeah. And sometimes I just go, I just follow it. I just, I don't even, you know, like the hula hooping thing was this, this last Great. weekend was so spontaneous. I just kind of said, hey, I'll just go show up. Right. And then I ended up making some really cute videos. I, I yes, saw, you did. I saw the mayor, got to hang out with him for a little while, him and his wife. And, wow. And, and, you know, did they hula hoop? No, you know what? I, I don't think they're quite ready, but we did do a couple pictures with the hula hoop. Isn't so. that awesome? Yeah. And I, all because you were willing just to go out there and... 
Yeah. Hula hoop. Yeah. Just go Jump ahead. through hoops. Jump through hoops. Yeah, I, and it attracts people. Yeah, it does. And when it. you smile at them, happy. they want to engage. That's the happy. That bring it back to happy. Bring it right back to happy. <laughs> it always comes back to happy. I tell people all the time, I don't work with unhappy people. I work with happy people all the time that just like to be de-stressed. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's a wonderful thing, oh. you know? Oh, my gosh. So, And that's exactly what you do. This is your form of de-stressing. Unless I'm on a deadline. Unless, well, well, deadline, but deadlines are good because it makes us stretch. Oh, it's always a gift. It is a gift. That's if everything ran so smoothly, how are you going to grow? I agree. You can't. Yeah. So thank God for the source in your life. Expansion. Expansion. Yeah, and my life just got bigger and better. Bigger and better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I want our audience to know how to get in touch with you. First of all, you got to go to facebook.com forward slash Robin Rapture because... She's fantastic. And wait till you see some of her artwork on there and her hula hooping. You're going to want a hula hoop. That is... Share with them how else they can get a hold of you. Okay, so uh, you can give me a call. I, I answer my phone. Uh, I don't always answer it because sometimes I'm in a photo shoot or, you know, some other thing. But I will return your call, my number. I have a vanity number, which is really cool. I love that. I want a vanity number. I can, I can help you with that. Right. I, my business will, can help you with that. That's very cool. Now, the, the name of the company is Agency 4K. And so my website's pretty simple. It's just a4k.agency. So the, you don't have to put the www in the front, but if you want to, you could. So right. if you did, it would be www, and it's on the screen probably, a4k.agency. Uh, and then uh, you can call me, like I said, and my, my vanity number is 707-877. Robin. 6246. So it's actually 707 Robin. Okay, That's say that the last, slower. The last, one, the, the last five is Robin. There you go. Right? Say it slower? Say it slow. 707 Robin. So wow. they, yeah. I like so it. You, you want to play a game with me real quick? Of course. Okay. I love games. Because we only have a few more minutes. I'll tell you, this half hour went by way too quick. I'll have to come back. Oh, <laughs> way too quick. So the spontaneous cards is you pick a spontaneous cards and you have to give it a positive twist on what you do to make the world a better place. Ooh, world a better place. Pick your oh, card. this is going to be so fun. Okay, spontaneous. This one. There you go. Eat, play, exercise. All right, oh, do it. Of course. Okay, ha eat, eat well. Please put good things in your body. That's huge. Putting good things in your body is going to make you happier, much happier. Huh. That is a very big deal. So no junk. I mean, some junk, but <laughs> not majority. Okay. Right. Play. Playing. Do it every day. Do it every minute. Play is like the mindset. It's not like I'm going to go out and play. Like that's like the old way. Right. You know, your mother's like, go out and play. No, no, no. <laughs> Go out and play all the time. You know, that, that really, that's like life lesson, huge. And then exercise, I got to bring it back to hula hooping. But you know what? Any exercise is good. Walking is great. There I love walking, running. Um, you know, even if you're just like, you know, even you just grab stuff. Oh, my God. Say bye, bye. everybody. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>